In Tom Cruise's alien flick, War of the Worlds, a massive sinkhole opens up at Brooklyn in New York, swallowing buildings, vehicles, and a few hundred people. From the sinkholes emerge massive robots operated and controlled by an alien species that had been plotting an invasion right under our noses for centuries. In the real world, our planet has an even more massive sinkhole in its surface, which is just as mysterious. Maybe even more so, after all, truth is stranger than fiction. The so-called gravity hole in the Indian Ocean has been puzzling scientists for almost a century. But the mystery might finally have been solved. Orbit. Beyond the blue. First things first, what even is a gravity hole? For that, let's start with gravity. We tend to think of gravity as one of the few things we can count on to be consistent. No matter where you stand on the Earth, the thinking goes, you're going to experience the same gravitational pull as any place else on Earth. Except that isn't entirely true. There are a few exceptions. Gravity is a function of the mass around you. It's the reason Apollo astronauts could bounce around like ping pong balls on the lunar surface. There's more gravity on Earth, because the Earth is more massive than the Moon. But mass isn't evenly distributed across the planet, and hence, neither is gravity. Gravitational maps of the planet reveal areas with more or less gravity. Moreover, the explanation for fluctuations in gravity from place to place mostly makes sense. Areas with tall mountain ranges, for instance, have a greater share of the planetary mass than low-lying valleys. So, you might expect a stronger pull at the top of a mountain than you would at sea level. When the opposite happens, a large chunk of mass is moved out of an area, creating what's known as a geoid low. The resulting drop in gravity creates what scientists refer to as a gravity hole. First discovered in 1948, the Indian Ocean Geoid Low covers an area of 1.2 million square miles, approximately 746 miles southwest of India. To figure out what caused the Indian Ocean Gravity Hole, Dibanjan Pal and Atrey Gash, both from the Center for Earth Sciences at the Indian Institute of Science, built 19 computer models simulating the movements and interactions of tectonic plates with the mantle. The idea was to model a bunch of different scenarios and look for ones which most closely match the observed mass distribution. Six simulations produced close matches, each of which was triggered by low-density magma rising from below and pushing high-density material away. The formation of Earth's gravity hole goes like this. Roughly 200 million years ago, there was an ancient ocean called Tethys, perched between the supercontinents of Laurasia and Gondwana. When the Indian plate broke away from Gondwana and smashed into the Eurasian plate, a tectonic wrestling match kicked off. Ultimately, the Tethys plate sunk beneath Africa. That might have been the end of things, but Africa has a hidden secret. Roughly 600 miles from the current location of the gravity hole, lies what's known as the African Blob, a staggeringly large bubble of dense, crystallized material the size of a continent and roughly 1,000 miles thick. When the Tethys plates slipped beneath the African continent, they disturbed the slumbering blob, sending plumes of fresh low-density magma spilling out. The less dense magma pushed higher-density material down into the Earth, leaving the lighter stuff up top. Let that cook at a couple thousand degrees for a few million years and you get a piping hot gravity hole. To confirm the researchers' predictions, scientists will now need to uncover the existence of the plumes using earthquake data collected from around the geoid low. Whether the plumes are the real answer, or if even deeper and mysterious forces are at play, remains to be seen. But what do I know? Beyond the blue.